everybody else we'll talk about it in this next topic we're going to talk about this 7500 ev tax credit and it seems like a lot of manufacturers notably bmw rivian and more have lost the 7500 federal tax credit and so we'll, we'll jump into it and talk about all the different models out there but it's it's it sucks for a lot of those companies that's for sure but if you're just joining in my name is dennis my i love talking about tesla hacking as i like to call it but basically just getting the best thing on tesla at the best financing rate so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested and check out my patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel but more on that later all right so let us take a look at this so shout out to tesla chan on twitter he posted this and i saw it first uh, as expected tesla we just talked about it will get the 7500 federal tax rate except the model 3 standard range and this has been confirmed by this website down below in the description the fueleconomy.gov where you can see all the different vehicles and all the different brands that either qualify for the full 7500 federal tax credit or down to 3750 and the list is pretty much all over the place but you can see right here volkswagen bmw nissan rivian hyundai kia volvo etc are all disqualified from the full credit according to the regulation so that's a that's a huge list of companies but the thing with this is that i'm pretty sure leasing still kind of circumvents this because it's a commercial lease but i guess more on that later on what will actually happen because we'll need to see how these companies ingest this and figure out how they're going to move forward with leasing because that could be the only loophole at the moment who knows the only companies that receive the all 7500 tax credit are tesla gm and ford so that's pretty much as expected because how the inflation reduction act was written it wanted to support american manufacturing and american battery minerals so it's it's kind of good to see that other american companies are basically in line and uh receiving benefits from the tax credit so if you want this full list it's right here fueleconomy.gov you can put in any vehicle that you might be interested in buying but mostly it's going to be teslas uh for uh, i can imagine people that watch this channel but what stood out to me is Mach-E lost basically the 7,500 federal tax rate, just like how the Model 3 lost the 7,500 federal tax rate down to 37 each, 37.50 each for both of them. Uh, some other ones, uh, Equinox, that's pretty cool. That's a new EV SUV that's coming out, 7,500 Bolt EUV, and the Bolt regular one is also getting the 7,500, and the Blazer is also getting the 7,000. 500 federal tax credit at Lyric, a very expensive a nice suv electric vehicle i saw it in person i definitely thought it was very nice it's also going to get these 7500 but here is the full list shout out to sawyer merit for breaking it down for all of us as of april 18th and this is if you take delivery after april 18th here are the vehicles that lost it rivian r1s and r1t audi q5 bmw 330 plug-in x5 bmw plug-in genesis Nissan Leaf. Unfortunately, the Nissan Leaf has now lost it. Uh, Volkswagen ID4. Multiple variants have also lost it. That's a big big tesla killer uh that's for sure because it is right in line with uh the model y and model 3 pricing volvo s60 lost of losing it but then there's only eight battery electric vehicles that will qualify for the full 7500 federal tax rate we've got the model 3 and the model y's ford f-150 lighting nice it's good to see that on the list uh, hopefully the cyber truck fingers crossed will also come in and become available under eighty thousand dollars. hopefully chevy bolt and bolt euv good price leader i would say cadillac lyric a very nice car in my opinion and then the chevy all, all chevy suvs and trucks because those are not yet launched yet so i can imagine maybe chevy just submitted their list of vehicles to the epa and treasury and just said you know they're gonna be good don't worry like they'll be fine and then they just put it onto the website here but uh, here's a list of vehicles that only qualify for the 3750 amount and the list uh, is on the screen as well and it's pretty much as expected for these vehicles not to get the full 7500 federal tax rate but definitely some pretty interesting stuff of course a lot of good headlines out there right like like like, like this one vw rivian Nissan, bmw lose access to the us ev tax credit and uh it's you know pretty interesting stuff at the end so just be aware of it out there be aware of what is going on but if you're buying a tesla you're pretty much good at the end end of the day pretty much uh it's just uh, model Y. you're very good you're gonna get, get the 7500 tax credit on all trims and the model 3 only on the model 3 performance you get the full 7500 and the model 3 standard range you lose down to the 3750 
And so you're pretty much good. Uh, and so you qualify for that full 7,500 federal tax credit. So if you've got a pending delivery, if you've got a pending EDD, you will be fine uh, and you have nothing to worry about it at this point. And so will there be a price decrease in the near future? Who knows? I mean, we've been speculating and thinking that the Model 3 standard range would get a decrease because it now loses the 37 or it loses the 7,500 federal tax rate. But now taking a look at this list and seeing all the different companies that uh, have also lost the tax credits, uh, maybe the competition won't be as strong anymore. So maybe there won't be a price decrease. It really just depends. I mean, the earnings call is in the next few days, so we'll probably get more insight on what their strategy is, if there's going to be more price decreases, and much, much more on Tesla's outlook and guidance. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the live stream comments, but today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description is a Patreon link where you can support the channel, and there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which has links to all the resources I use to get the best possible deal at the best financing rate, including credit unions and banks on that list that all have interest rates lower than Tesla financing, lower than Tesla's 5.59%. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description and as an added benefit i do respond to all patreon dms or direct messages if you want to ask me any questions one-on-one -on -one about buying a tesla selling a tesla or even financing a tesla so definitely check it out patreon link down below in the description but if you're just 